Other news tonight, in less than 48 hours, local death row inmate John Henry Ramirez will be executed by the state. The 37-year-old was sentenced to death in 2008 for the fatal stabbing of Pablo Castro, a 45-year-old convenience store clerk, during a 2004 robbery spree in Corpus Christi. Ramirez and an accomplice approached Castro with a knife. Ramirez stabbed him 29 times, searched his pockets, and made off with a dollar and a quarter. Castro died immediately, leaving behind nine children and 14 grandchildren. In 2011, I sat down with Ramirez at the Livingston prison and talked about his impending execution. I picture myself being strapped to that gurney and I picture like what I'm going to say to the victim's family, what I'm going to say to my family. And then the warning starts the drug administration and you, you start, you know, you start feeling it and it starts taking an effect. And every time I do that, oh man, I, I get like anxious, you know, my heart starts racing. It was back in March when the U.S. Supreme Court granted Ramirez's request for his pastor to place his hands on him and pray aloud during his execution. Soon after, District Attorney Mark Gonzalez called the death penalty unethical and in a filing with the court said it should not be imposed on Ramirez. Again, Ramirez is set to be executed on Wednesday.